What's up guys and welcome back to the Minecraft modding tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Forge so that you can get modding with Forge. And now Forge for Minecraft 2.3 is completely different from Mod Loader. So I'm going to have to go through all the blocks, the items and everything like that again because it has completely changed from the last version of Forge to Minecraft 1.2.5. So if you want to get set up you'll need to download two things to start with you'll need to download Forge and you'll need to download MCP so if you just scroll down you can go and get MCP which is just here so you can download this and download it needs to be the latest MCP 7.2 so direct download that then you'll also need to download Forge so you need to download the source so direct download that so, once those are downloaded, you'll need to drag your MCP 7.2 into a, a new folder. And I've just named this folder YouTube Example Forge. Then what you'll need to do, using WinRAR or just uh, your default extractor, you'll need to extract the files into that folder. So I'm using WinRAR for this. And then once you've done that, you can delete the MCP 7.2. And now you should have all these bat files and sh files and a few folders. Then what you need to do, you'll need to open up the Minecraft Forge source, and you'll need to drag that into the YouTube example Forge folder. So it should come between jars and Eclipse. So just wait for this, <coughs> and. As you can see, it should be placed directly in between the jars and the eclipse, and that's how you know you've done it right. And inside should be uh, patches, FML, stuff like that. So that's how you know if you've done that bit right. Then what you'll need to do, you'll need to go to your Minecraft folder, you will, which needs, which to get there, you'll have to do app data, so percent app data percent click enter and then you'll see dot minecraft and then you need to copy the bin and resources folder so click copy then you'll need to paste these into the jars and while that's running I forgot to mention that you have to download the server jar as well so to do this you'll need to go to minecraft.net and then you'll need to go to download and then you'll need to download the server jar so just download that keep and now if we go back here as you can see it's done and you need to have a clean version of minecraft 1.3 so I'm not sure whether it's clean so I'm just going to grab a clean version and paste that in and now I know I have a clean version of the minecraft jar and now with the servers server.jar you'll need to drag that into the jars folder so next to the bin and you'll need to make sure it's named minecraft underscore server with no one at the end so once you've got that you can start decompiling it and normally you go down here and click decompile but for this because you want to install forge you need to go into the forge folder and you need to click install and then it'll go through this it'll download few jars to help it and this has got really just data that you don't need to know about or anything so it's going to start decompiling now and so I'll start the video again once it's done so now that that's done we can just check what it's been doing so it's been patching files lots of them it's been adding Java doc, renaming sources, and it's been just decompiling the source code on Minecraft. So now that Forge has been installed, you can just go ahead and launch Eclipse and click Run. And then you can wait for Eclipse to load up. And then you'll need to browse to where your folder is saved. So mine's under MCP. It is, then it's under 
YouTube example forge and then you have to click on the eclipse folder inside whatever folder you called it so eclipse click okay then okay and now you'll need to wait and here we are so straight away you notice something different is that it's only got one folder here it doesn't have client and server like last time this is because client and server is now um, merged so whatever mods you make for single player they will also be compatible with multiplayer so you can just go and put them ahead on the server jar and it will work perfectly so that's something that's really cool about uh, forge so here's all the different sources and then this is the one that you will be really needing this is the default one that you've been used to all the time so that's going to be it for this video guys uh, if you if it helped you out installing Forge please give it a like and if you want more modding tutorial content then just subscribe to my channel to keep up to date so that's all my name is Pro Al. peace out